We have different middle names, so I'm not a junior. Something he's pointed out to me, his own son, no less than 4,000 times. Almost everyone who has spent any significant time with my father has a similar story about him. We were in the middle of a conversation, and then he just walked away. Keep in mind that he doesn't excuse himself. There's no, I'll be right back. My dad will just walk away from what you would perceive as a hang, or he'll hang up the phone during a conversation by injecting a simple, okay, I gotta go. The phone part he usually does once he's done talking, and now you are the one sharing something with him, like a thought, a concern, or a story. I wish there was an easy explanation for this, like a developmental or behavioral issue. It isn't either of those things. He knows that we all share virtually the same experience with him. I get bored, and I don't want to waste any time once I feel that way. Oh, so we're boring you. Wonderful. One spring break during college, I brought my roommates down to Florida, where my parents live, to stay for a few days. One evening, Casey, my 4.0 GPA, super polite, thoughtful roommate, came over to me wide-eyed. Hey, man, I don't know what I did, but I I think I offended your dad. What'd you say? Well, that's just it. I don't know. I was talking to him, and, and he just walked away. He's in another room now. I reassured Casey that what he had experienced was normal for my dad. When I went to chastise my father, who was by then watching television, he barely registered it. Oh, well, I was done talking. Watching this now. At my cousin's recent wedding, a former neighbor who only knew me as a small child told me that at the reception, my father did the same thing to him, only the neighbor laughed. He hasn't changed one bit. After all these years, I can say that I almost admire the way he disengages once the conversation doesn't serve his interests. But I don't. I still get upset, actually. I sometimes let it slide, but every now and then I feel like I have to call him out. To be clear, it still has absolutely zero effect on him when I do. What's even more, he likes to say that he's gotten much better about that. He hasn't. And it doesn't take much to convince him of that either. You really haven't gotten better. Really? Yeah, really. I'm wondering if I have cancellation insurance on this cruise in October. What? See? He just doesn't stay in the moment, unless it involves his ass. When my dad isn't walking away from you because he's bored or hanging up the phone because he's not interested in what you have to say, then he is probably going on about something in his digestive tract. Most, and I do mean most, of my dad's phone calls and conversations in person and on the phone are about shitting, farting, wiping, or wishing he was doing one of those things. Countless times I have answered my phone, and my father starts describing a bowel movement in complete sincerity and without saying hello. Me. Hello? My dad. You ever get some shit on your hand, and then you have to reach back and wipe with the hand you don't normally wipe with? I had one of those today. I gotta get this call. Talk to you later. This is not a joke to him. To him, bowel movements are not simply a joy. They are criminally underappreciated by the masses, and he has taken it upon himself to spread the good word. He has named himself the head publicist of this cause, and he wants you to listen. If you're not a believer now, please just spend a few minutes listening to my father's convincing pleas. It's something we all do, but no one wants to talk about it, is a favorite expression of his. He is making up for literally everyone who doesn't want to talk about the seven different fart smells he recognizes from himself. Each smell, he says, tells him what will happen next. And it's knowing that that gives him comfort and security. I can tell if I'm going to be sick or constipated just by my smell. My father also has nicknames for the different bowel movements he produces. Sloppy Joes, Number Sevens, and Cherry Bombs all mean very specific things to him. And if you spend enough time with him, you can learn all these cool details, too. Cherry bombs get splattered on the cheeks. Sloppy Joe's just kind of fall out of you. He's proud to have these distinctions and happy to discuss any and all of this in detail with anyone. He's told some of his shitting stories so many times that he'll refer to them by their titles. Orlando Airport, the Miami trip, lobster, 